Hey, this is Bruce from Gilder. Uh, today's topic, hard drive is not spinning. You may have power to it, and you just go start it up, nothing. No movement, nothing at all. You may hear a beep, um, but typically it's just, it just kind of sits there. Normally a uh, hard drive spins, uh, most hard drives spin between 5400 and 7200 RPM, with some of your newer enterprise ones uh, actually going up to even like 15,000 RPM. So these things are really spinning fast, and the reason they do that, um, it creates that little air cushion for the read-write heads to, to float on and do their reading and writing. Causes for not spinning. Well, number one could be the PCB board, or the PCB printed circuit board. It's usually green, sometimes blue on the back there. This provides power to the drive, power to the spindle motor um, in order to get it spinning. If this board is bad or has some uh, malfunctions, no power goes to the drives, platters don't spin, and read-write heads can't function properly, and you get no data, no access to the data. Number two could be the read-write heads themselves. Uh, sometimes they will actually have a, a situation where they will, they will stick to the platter. Uh, they'll get, actually get stuck on there, um, not allowing the, the platters to spin. Again, this can uh, create a beeping sound uh, that uh, essentially the motor is trying to spin the platters, but it can't, it's meeting resistance. And then thirdly, could be the spindle motor itself. Um, spindle motor here, it's, it's obviously spinning these platters at a very high rate of speed. Uh, it could be that the, the fluid inside, over, over time it's used up, they seize up. If it gets seized up, you can't just squirt a little WD-40 in there and get these up and going again. Uh, they need to, you have, need to have the motor replaced and need to get that into a recovery lab for that. Uh, so really those are the three causes for hard drives not spinning. Um, in the case study on this page, you read below, uh, the culprit was number two. Read-write heads were stuck on the, on the platter. We call these uh, rubbers. They, they rubbed up against the platter. Our engineers were able to successfully and very delicately remove the read-write head from the platter get a new set of read-write heads in there and able to get the customer's data. But read more about it, a little more in-depth uh, knowledge uh, and information on this page. And if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.